an ICD uh, stands for Implantable Cardioverter Defibrillator. And uh, just taking those each in initials in turn, implantable means it's uh, implanted or put inside someone's body. And it's usually through a little cut underneath the left collarbone on the whole, uh, and it's in, put underneath the skin. And from it, two wires, usually two, sometimes one, sometimes three, go into the heart. And what it does is it monitors your heart rhythm and just keeps an eye on everything. If your heart rhythm were to go very fast, it will try and get you out of the funny heart rhythm. I was um, training um, in the gym and uh, I didn't feel quite right on the, on the machine and something didn't, you know, it felt different than usual. Um, it turns out um, I, my wife rang, the, um, rang an ambulance, um, the ambulance came and they got monitors on me and I was having something called ventricular tachycardia where your heart goes extremely fast, an abnormal rhythm um, and it went up to 278. Um, they took me to work for General Hospital, um, stopped my heart, started it again and then brought me to Harefield Hospital. Having an ICD takes away that risk of, we call it a sudden cardiac death, but it actually takes that risk away because the ICDs are 97, 98% successful. They will, they will um, see a rhythm and treat a rhythm and very effectively and appropriately. The ICD unit is a, like a backup device, so if for some reason it does go into an abnormal rhythm again, that can regulate the, the, the rhythm and um, hopefully stop anything, you know, any problems. It's probably the most effective treatment uh, for someone in this kind of uh, abnormal half, heart rhythm, which is potentially life-threatening. And it's a way of saving someone's life. Because what it does is, it, within seconds, it recognises the uh, abnormal heart rhythm and gives the appropriate treatment. So this is the, the battery and the brain of the, uh, of the device. So inside here, uh, all in one device is a, a battery and also the computer microcircuitry uh, necessary for it to recognise what's happening with your heart rhythm and then deliver the appropriate uh, treatment. And then connected to this you'll notice that there's um, several slots in here and these slots are for these, what we call a, a lead. Uh, once the lead is, this lead is inside the patient's heart, the other end, which is still outside, gets put uh, into the slots here and then there's little screws here which you screw in and then it gets it's solid and that's your two components both the, the generator and the brain and the lead which goes inside the heart. So if I could show you an example of that um, here is uh, the heart and what we do is we put one lead in here and you can see it's coming from the left collarbone through the vein into the bottom of the heart. A lot of people will also have a second wire which goes into the top of the heart, the atrium, and that's designed primarily to help pace the heart or to recognise between different heart rhythms. Some people will even have a third wire which goes again through the vein and down into a vein here, then it goes over the surface of the left side of the heart. Then that's what we call resynchronization, where the two sides of the heart which are not working in unison uh, start to synchronise, a bit like these ladies in synchronised swimming. It can be a very traumatic um, 
experience. One, it might be because of how you came to have the ICD. You might have um, had a loss of consciousness or a collapse, which can be quite frightening. I think having the ICD will take away that fear of once you've gone home, if that happens again. I think people are often worried um, about where they'll, they'll, they'll be. Will there be someone there to help them or call for help?